Hi everyone, hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday everyone. I hope you're having an awesome, awesome day so far and have a blessed weekend ahead, I hope, for everyone. Guys, today I want to tackle something that has been spoken about, but then most people, they tend to confuse the whole terminology and then it gets lost in translation, right? Today I want to tackle something that most people are shy to talk about, but it, it's out there and it exists. And it's been going on for a very, very long time. Um, and this is something that all this mess, most LGBTI community, and they tend to confuse the line, even themselves. Because now the thing is that we always tend to brush or paint everyone with the same brush. Sorry, excuse me there. Paint everyone with the same brush. But then there's other people. And, 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 and sexuality is very deep. You know, it's broad. There's a spectrum to this. So today I want to tackle MSM. What is MSM? MSM, these are men that are sleeping with other men. When I say sleeping, I don't mean sharing a bed. Come on. We know guys have been sharing beds for a very long time, for centuries and whatever. I mean someone who sexually engages with another man. So what does this mean? Does this mean that a person is gay, bisexual, whatever? No, sometimes they are not even gay. Sometimes they don't even identify as either. You know, they're just going with the flow. But this will happen, and this has been happening, in places like prison, for instance. Men will actually sleep with other men, sexually have penetration or penetrative sex with another man, and they will still identify as straight. And this thing has been going on for a very long time. So what does it mean? Does the person who actually on the receiving end end up being gay, or is the person that is actually dominating the whole sexual act, um, have feelings for other men, sometimes not necessary. This is a situation that they found themselves in and they rather interact or engage in that manner, maybe to take out the frustration, maybe to actually, I don't know, maybe exchange favors in that situation. I've, I've never been to jail, so I wouldn't know. But I've heard, I've heard that it's actually, it's happening and it's been happening for a very long time. And you find these things that are actually happening in the army. Sometimes people get deployed to other countries and that's when they actually tend to explore their sexuality. Uh, in the spaces of confinement and everything, you know, you tend to lose your mind sometimes. But then I believe some of them do this with an open, sound mind and they know exactly what is happening to them. So um, in that manner... It, does it still mean that a person is gay? No, not necessarily. A person will sleep with another man at any given time when they choose to do so, even though some of them will actually do this under influence of alcohol or drugs for that matter, so that maybe they will actually make it an excuse that, no, 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 I was high, or I was drunk, or whatever the case might be. But it's been happening, and people do it all the time. So there's a straight guy who might find actually a gay guy attractive at a given point, during their drinking session, and then they end up engaging sexually. But then that guy doesn't mean necessarily that tomorrow he's gay. He just did that under the influence of alcohol, and it's possible that probably his desire has been there, you know, to actually engage. The only thing that was limiting the person or the individual was that the platform or the opportunity was never granted to them. And then now suddenly the opportunity is granted, and then they explore their sexuality. Maybe they're going to find out the following morning that they actually liked the whole date. Or maybe they're going to find out either that it wasn't what I was thinking or wanting, you know, in this manner. And they will disengage. So now you go around telling that someone so-and-so slept with so-and-so. I think they are this. No. Sometimes you need to understand the whole context of how the whole thing transpired. Again, guys, this whole thing of going and talking about people who slept with whoever, it's so old-fashioned. Stay out of it. We all have sex with whoever we want to and we, with whoever we choose to at any given time. You know what I'm saying? So this whole thing of going around telling other people who slept with who and now you're thinking this is what's happening, you don't know. Ish. Stay out of people's business. Back to the MSM. The MSM people, it doesn't, they don't identify as bi, most of them. They don't identify as gay. And they don't identify as either or whatever them and whatever terms that we now use. But this is not exclusive again. 
an MSM person can come in as an entry level, <laughs> or should I say at the entry level as an MSM, I just engage with guys, but I don't identify as sexually either, whatever. But down the line, you find out that they're actually enjoying the whole thing. And then they will identify as bisexual if someone is actually involved with a woman, which is usually the case with most of them. Like I said earlier on, in prison, guys sleep with other guys, not necessarily because they are gay. But then you find out that some of them, even if they do come out of that situation, the desire and the craving still lingers and they still want to practice and they still want to explore furthermore. And then there's also gay for pay. Gay for pay. Most of the guys that sleep with gay guys, they're not even gay. You know, we just sponsor them and then we get whatever we want. When I'm saying we, I don't want to sound like I'm exclusive to the whole thing because look, we're all living in a world. I can't be judging people and saying, oh, so-and-so has been doing this and they're paying boys to sleep with them. I, I don't know. All I know is that we, as in mean all of us, have probably done something in that manner of advancing our sexual desire by actually giving them or gifting as someone so that we can have sexual favors. It might be indirect or indirect, but we'll never know. So, gay for pay. These, again, these are not gay people. These are not our community. These guys, they come into our community because they believe that there's benefits that are going to be granted should they actually, you know, give sexual favors to whoever is willing to accept. And you'll find out this person has been doing this with one person or individual for the past two years. And you already conclude that which just because that individual is sleeping with my gay friend, it means he's also gay. Find out that he's actually getting married to a woman next weekend. What a disappointment, right? Again, MSM. These are men sleeping with men. Guys, we need to understand that sexual is very, sexuality is very broad. You know, there's a spectrum to this thing. It's deeper than we can actually understand. A person can be in a situation or a situationship for the past five years and you're thinking which in your mind and whatever his mindset, they're already locked and that's who they are. They've got other desires that they probably haven't even started exploring yet. And you'll be shocked when you bump into them that your sister's husband is actually now a cross-dresser. <laughs> no that's a funny example but i'm just saying that you need to understand that sexuality is very broad and people are not limited to what we see or tend to understand our perception is totally different from what is happening in somebody's head you think and you see what they act and how they do things and then you conclude that, that that's who they are but you'll be shocked you'll be shocked a man could live a 20-year marriage over a boy literally in jail people fight and kill each other over a boy yet this very same person is married with kids outside sexuality is a very broad <laughs> and uh in conclusion guys yes msm could be anyone could be your father your uncle your brother whoever but that's because they had an opportunity of doing something with a gay person or a transgender or whatever, it doesn't mean necessarily that now they are gay or they identify as bi or whatever the case might be. Give them time. Let them explain themselves if they should. And I don't even believe in explaining yourself in terms like this because at the end of the day, let's all live our lives the best way we know how. We are all in transit. We are passing. Before you know it, you're here and then you're gone. So, peace.